he wipes out his face. Just as I want each one of you to do in your mind. Block it out of your memory. Erase it from your subconscious. Start from scratch. Forget what he used to look like. Have you blocked it out? <laughs> if you representatives in the field I beg your pardon, miss. I want to see Mr. Duke. This is very important. Well, this is important too, huh? Will you, you please be quiet, sir? Be sure I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> to begin with, the subject is normally clean-shaven. So, naturally, he can be expected to assume various hairy disguises. Like this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or even something as drastic as this. <laughs> now look hard. Please, miss, Study I have to see Mr. DeVere. My name is Buddy all. Overstreet. How do you do, Mr. Overstreet? I'm Linda Bird Johnson. <laughs> Honest, it's true. I came here to meet the symbol of my fright, Mr. DeVere. I assure you, Mr. DeVere does not frighten anyone. Well, you've never been in a Turkish bath with him. <laughs> It'll only take a couple minutes. Look, why don't you just come back tomorrow? No, I promised my psychologist I'd do it right away. A psychologist? Why don't you just go sit over there and I will Besides call Mr. DeVere? Besides putting on beards, <laughs> mustaches, sideburns, and different hair pieces, you might even resort to plastic surgery. But don't let any of these things fool you. No matter how hard he Miss Oglethorpe, you know nobody disturbs Mrs. DeVere during a broadcast? And so much for the face.